is here. I don't have anxiety. I'm more so nervous for the fact that some of them really weren't paying attention. The little ones, because they constantly ask to go to the bathroom to get water, asking when it's lunch, when we gonna leave. The kids, they wouldn't act right, and they would cartwheels, and I'm trying to teach, and it's like, okay, I'm not used to this. When it gets to the performance time, they will not just stand there and forget every single thing that we did. Buck or Die Majorette Training Camps is something that we've been doing for years. We took a pause because of, of course, traveling and touring for the Bring It Live Tour. And we are here in New Orleans, Louisiana for the very first Buck or Die National Majorette Training Camp that we've done in a really long time. Now coming into this training camp, I had high expectations. It's a sold out camp. There's so many kids registered to be here. And as you can tell, my voice is going in and out because this camp has been one of the loudest, livest camps that I've ever had to do. It's still talking, who's talking? Point at him. Y'all take too much time and take your time. Get down here. Girl, get over here. She gone, she cut, bye, get over here. Half of y'all would never make DD4 well because you don't know how to be disciplined. Over 200 kids showed up with all the COVID restrictions. A lot of things kind of fell by the wayside. You have to have a vaccine or a COVID-19 test, which is totally okay with me, but a lot of people were not prepared. So we lost 100 of our students that are transferring to our Dallas camp. Saying all that to say, here we are coming off of day one you know, of the camp and my voice is G-O-N-E. These kids are nervous but excited, but anxious all at the same time. They have a lot that they have to learn and learning structure and discipline. Six, seven, eight, one. Pay attention over there, seven, eight. It's not always the easiest, Three, you know? Four. You gotta be still, don't move around, don't jump around. Don't scream, stand here, move here, stand up, sit down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, count to 32, move here. It's like it's so much at one time. But you said you wanted to train like a dancing doll, right? You wanna do what the dancing dolls do. Right? This is a part of what it is that we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So, um, team leaders, come here. So I can tell you what I'm looking for. Quickly. Pull four really good dancers out of each one of y'all's groups because we're going to do a special part at the end of this for them. So if you want to have them do, see who can do um, a toe touch, who can do a front rollover, a split, like a toe touch into a split, like stuff like that. See who can do it real quick and give me four people. We have several amazing captains and leaders that are going to be here. You have Destiny, Imani, Kirsten, Aaliyah, and of course you guys know Christiana and you know Kayla. Now I'm very confident in all six of these ladies. I wouldn't have brought them with me because you can't travel with me and you can't tour with me if you don't know what you're doing. I do know that the four Atlanta captains, this is new for them, but I want them to gain this experience because they are the new wave of dolls that are about to come through. You know, Kayla is a new mommy. Our baby is so cute. Christiana is entering her junior year in college and she's gonna wanna do some other things. So training camps are not gonna be something that's always on their radar. So we have to bring in the new wave of dolls, the new face of the team, to be able to pick up the slack and take this on so we can continue to train dancers all over the world. Four, five, six, seven. When Coach D asked me to be a part of this training camp, I was nervous. But I was excited at the same time because it was my first training camp. I didn't know how the kids were gonna work, like how they were gonna work out. Four, five, six, seven. So we got to the university and meeting everybody there for the first time. It was a little weird because you had to like split up into teams and you had to like get to know your team to know like if they're going to be able to do what you made up, if you had to change some stuff. So it was pretty challenging. The major challenges with this entire camp was really listening. Like, shh, stop talking. Like, don't move. Don't roll around on the floor while the teachers are teaching. But it's gonna take for you guys to pay attention. Stop moving. Stop twirling around. Be still. You remember where your spot was on the floor? 
You're looking at your parents and you should be looking with me. You're gonna be in the bleachers with them. Pay attention. I just think that the kids were really overly excited, but it was a huge obstacle, hence why I have no voice. But even though it was a major obstacle, you know, we still were able to get through it. Oh, no, I'm sorry, baby. So y'all ain't paying attention. Go. Not y'all, them. Go. Still, y'all ain't paying attention, just go. Push straight back. Watching Kirsten and Imani and Destiny and Aaliyah, I'm not surprised that they were doing so well. They lead the team in Atlanta with no issues. You know, I know this was a challenge for them though, because they're used to the one E and the two E and the three and four and fast pace, fast pace, up, down. But with these dancers being so new, they had to scale it back a little bit to be able to still meet the needs of the camp. I did enjoy the challenge. It was very hectic because the kids, they wouldn't act right and they would twirl on the floor and do cartwheels and I'm trying to teach and it's like, okay, I'm not used to this because normally we're disciplined and we know how it's supposed to be, but these kids are new to this, so we had to work around that. The most challenging part was dealing with the little ones they constantly ask to go to the bathroom to get water, tapping me, asking when is lunch, when are we going to leave, and it was only 11 o'clock. They just ask so many questions, and I'm just trying to teach. And then you got the big kids in the back, just like, can we go do it again? Like, can we just go over it? I kind of had to split my mind in two. Like, I had to focus on the little ones and focus on teaching the rest of the stuff. One of the problems that I did have was they were playing in the bathroom. First of all, I do not play when it comes to me teaching. You need to be there, you need to be in your position, and you need to be ready to learn. But they wanted to play and climb on the stall, so they got cut. I didn't feel bad, but at the same time, when the little girl did cry, <laughs> it was like, oh no. I'm gonna get in trouble, but no, I didn't. Because my team, I can do what I want. But you can't be playing if, when we're not dancing, okay? Don't be climbing on the stalls. That was fun, I was, that wasn't me. But you were still playing, weren't you? Don't be true. Don't tell the lot. Were you playing? Yeah, I was running down the hall. Yes, but you were still involved with them, okay? So, since you were playing and doing bad things, you're going to sit out for this, okay? You can't get sad because, I mean, it's not my rule. You're going to get cut, but I'm going to pat your back because you're still doing everything else. And I need you to have that mindset that you're going to do well on the other things. Just, you're not going to do stand battle. I didn't have to cut anybody because they cut their cells. They kept sitting down. And I was actually trying to get them up, like, come on, yeah, you got it. But they were just like, no, I'm tired. And I was like, do you? Like, you know, do what you got to do. Then um, they would get in trouble because they would go in the stands to get water. And they would just have to sit down. So they really cut their cells. I'm going to tell Y'all doing this? And before we even got started, I taught, like, maybe two eight counts, and the girl tapped me. She was like, can I go to the bathroom? And so I was thinking, I was like, well, we don't really go to the bathroom at practice for real. But I was thinking like, well, these are like little kids. So I was like, yeah, you can go ahead to the bathroom. And after that, they just constantly ask them to go to the bathroom. Then like when they go to the bathroom, they'll come back and like two seconds later, the same person will ask again. I'm like, did you just go to the bathroom? I'm like, yeah, I just went I'm like, do you really gotta go? And I'm like, yeah, I gotta go like really bad. So I'm just like, go ahead. I mean, you gonna miss it, but. At the dollhouse, bathroom isn't bad, but if you're trying to learn something, you should try not to go to the bathroom. Cause it's like, if you go to the bathroom, that's like missing an hour of practice. Like you're missing choreography, you're missing details, stuff like that. So if you go to the bathroom, you have to come back, deal on a different part. So you have to learn that part in like two minutes to get the next part. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great. All the way over.
four. This is group four. This whole side. Push to the right. Jump up with two hands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go, go, go. And down. Again. Seven, eight. One, two, three. Next. I said they ain't do as much as yesterday. That's yesterday, every five minutes, it was white shirts, white shirts, white shirts. Did you see Flappy Legs? Who, when the beat dropped? Uh -uh. That's why I had to get up and go over there and say Z6. As soon as the beat dropped, she got on her toes. Flappy, 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 flappy. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> why was she doing that? I guess she felt it in the spirit. <laughs> I said, get your friend. Tell her Z6. Maybe so they hit this music and just they just start dancing. Mm-hmm. Zone out so quick. So quick. I'm surprised they remember all of it now. They do. Like it be little hiccups, but for them just like all, all of this yesterday, yesterday. it's it like it's coming in the form. So but you see where I'm going with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I don't know what order is what, but I see you making it. I'm I, I don't know what they doing, but if they know that's good. I feel like I'm missing a field show part that I had them do yesterday, but I can't remember what I said. It was a lot. It was a lot going on yesterday. My head was hurting, started to hurt too once they, today. Once we run it, you gonna be like, okay, we let this out, go back. Yeah. You just have to see it. Because I really want the little people to have a group. I really do. Like the field show, I just want them to have just like a little something. Tell them pick like how many six groups, five from each group? Yeah. Is that that's 30. What, that's what I really want. No, or, that's good. Oh, okay. Let me like, I really take want them to, more. like. <laughs> but for real, I really want that's them to they have, have a, something. They had them a spot like, like the big folks. Yeah. That'll be the easiest stretchy. way to do it. Just tell the leaders to pick who they feel will be able to keep Hit up. Yeah. They best five, four or five, and come up with some. Maybe three I'm, little eight counts. Get a toe touch yeah. and a roll up. One, two, three, four, roll over for 10 counts. 10, 10, 10, 10. Roll up for five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, and then maybe shake it, shake it, shake for eight count. Six, seven, eight, and, and bucket, and bucket, and bucket, and bucket, and head, and head, and step, 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 say what? And they out of here. And that's your spot. Take no breaks. We're gonna fly through. So if you need to use the bathroom. Performance day is is here. You know what I mean. And and I am. I don't have anxiety. I'm more so nervous for the fact that some of them really weren't paying attention. And I'm really hopeful that when it gets to the performance time, they will not just stand there and forget every single thing that we did. Because again, they only had two days. And the very first day, I forgot to mention, we started two hours late. See, the COVID restrictions had us to check everybody's vaccine card, check their negative COVID test, and that held up our registration line by two hours. So I said to myself, it's okay. COVID is not going anywhere anytime soon. I have to get this fixed before we get ready to go to Dallas, Cincinnati. We're going to St. Louis, Chicago. We're going to all these places. Like I can't get to Maryland and we still have a two hour delay. That two hour delay cost us a lot of time. But even though it cost us time, it, they actually pulled it off. Like I am so shocked to watch the kids get out here and pull this off. And even still in between, <laughs> the setup of the performances, they were still rolling around on the floor. Like, I was like, why are these little kids rolling around? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, one second. 
Kayla, come over here. If your team Christiana, go behind Christiana. If your team Christiana, go behind Christiana. Should I be talking? I didn't use the microphone on her, but if you like me too, I really can. But I guess, you know, in a sense, how important this is to me and how exciting this is for me, it may not be as important to them. Because sometimes little kids are just so oblivious to like, your mom spent $150 for you to be here at this camp. And to them, they think money grows on trees. So they're not really stressed about the amount of money and that their parents are spending or even the amount of time that we put into this. They don't care about the love, you know, that we have for it. They just watch it on TV. So they're like, I'm in the building. I don't care if I don't do anything. All they're worried about is going to the bathroom, drinking water and eating lunch. <laughs> Like, this whole thing has been funny, but it's been fun. You know, it's been entertaining to watch, and I feel like we're back in the saddle. So super proud of the Atlanta Dancing Dolls. This is their first training camp and they survived. Yes, they not did. They're alive. <laughs> they did a great job, but they now understand what it's like to be a coach on our end of the coaching side of it because now they're having to be the ones to be the coach to tell the kids to stop, don't be quiet, don't move, stand still, stand in line like we have to do them. All right, you guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you click and subscribe to DD4L app, available in all app stores. Dancing doll, I wanna be, I wanna be, I wanna be a dancing doll, I wanna be, I wanna be.